Did you know that this movie was nominated for Best Picture? I had no idea that Raiders was nominated for Best Picture. Hank got nominated for Best Director. I mean, it, it deserved it. I mean, in my opinion, it deserved a win. I mean, besides the thing that won, I forgot what even won. Whatever won, shouldn't have won. Raiders is amazing. But this was nominated for Best Picture? Wow, times have changed. Raiders of the Lost Ark. In 1981, Steven Spielberg was on a high of movies. I mean, even though he just got off 1941, which was in 79, he was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a movie. George Lucas, I know you're making Star Wars or anything, but can you take a break and come help me and make write a good story or anything? Oh, we won't you write this dialogue. Oh, no, we won't do that. No way. But give me a good story. And so George Lucas and Steven Spielberg created one of the most famous movie characters ever to be put on screen, Indiana Jones. The guys, this is it. This is the series I've been wanting to review, even though I can't review them all in order. But Raiders of the Lost Ark is the definition of an action summer adventure film. This is what started it all. This is what action adventure movies now are copying. When you make an adventure movie or you even use a whip in a movie, you think of Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones is the coolest badass character who was ever to be put on screen. And I'm gonna tell you right now, Harrison Ford, I know everyone loves him, Han Solo. To me, his defining role is Indiana Jones. I'm sorry, I just can't. I know Han Solo is great and everything. Heck, I think Harrison Ford even agrees with them that he, Indiana Jones is his best performance or his best role. I mean, if you look at the man during interviews, he hates Star Wars from the sounds of it. So Indiana Jones, man, this, I was so excited to rewatch this movie. I haven't watched it in a good 10 months probably. And I was pretty excited to watch it on my Blu-ray. And you know what? T today watching this movie, it made me feel like a kid. Even though this movie came out in 1981, when I was little, I actually, after watching Jurassic Park a hundred times, I was like, I want to learn, watch more Steven Spielberg movies. So I watched like E.T. and stuff like that. And then I watched Indiana Jones, or as I'm going to call it, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Because that's what it's called, and that's what I'm going to call it. So this movie is based on, basically, Harrison Ford plays Indiana Jones, an archaeologist looking for the Ark of the, Ark of the Covenant. This thing basically is like a religious artifact that he needs to find, and he's gonna do whatever he does to get it. And then he's got to fight Nazis. Nazis want this thing. Everyone wants it. So what, what makes this movie so good? What is it that makes everyone talk about Razor Lost Ark? The direction by Spielberg, hands down, is one of the best things. I mean, this is like clear-cut, action-packed, smart filmmaking. Steven Spielberg made an awesome movie with this action scene. Every action scene in this movie is almost pretty much memorable to me. I mean, if I had to say the famous one in this movie, it's obviously the truck scene, the chase truck, when he's fighting on that truck and he basically gets thrown out the window, gets shot, and gets thrown under the truck with his whip only holding on grist while getting dragged by it. Indiana Jones, man, he gets his ass handed to in this movie. I mean, in every fight scene or every sequence of action, basically the luck of his Skinner butt, like he's, he's so close getting killed in so many scenes, but he gets away because he's a smart man, and that's what makes this character so awesome. Usually action heroes today are just basically non-human people that can do anything and survive anything. This is how you make an awesome character. Indiana Jones actually bled. He got shot. He gets punched and blood spurts out. He gets thrown in the dirt. I mean, Indiana Jones, the character, this is why you make a good character. Because he's vulnerable. You almost feel like he's gonna die in this movie. Even though we truly don't know. Like, we all know they're not gonna kill Harrison Ford. But the thing is, when you're watching, you feel, like, endangered for him. That's what good directing does. And that's why these action scenes are so memorable. I mean, the famous pilot scene where he's fighting this big old dude in front of a plane that is literally just turning. It's such a simple fight sequence, but Spielberg makes it an intense sequence with great editing, and the movie's always moving. There's always scenes of something interesting happening. For example, the scene where he's eating these, what is it, like pecans or something like that? I forget what he was eating. It, they're poisoned. And the whole scene, he's holding one. He's getting ready to eat it. But then a monkey eats it. And it kills him. But throughout the entire scene, there's dialogue being talked about this artifact that's going to lead them to the Covenant. And it's just, that's how you make filmmaking. That's how you make something interesting. Take something, give the audience something to watch and to realize what they're watching in the scene. But get that dialogue in your head because this is important information. 
that is how you make a scene interesting and, and not like boring as like that. Also, when you have Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones, I mean, for crying out loud, it's Harrison Ford. Let's talk about him for a little bit. I mean, he's awesome. I mean, it's Harrison Ford and he's Indiana Jones. I mean, there's not much to say. He's a badass. He's an archaeologist who's a badass. He's also a teacher at a college. And I love the opening scene of him in the as him as a professor, basically. And the girl has the I love you on her eyes. And he's like looking at her. He's like, and uh, he like looks at her. It's funny. The movie's got great humor, too. Especially the one scene where he's trying to steal a horse. He's like, what are you going to do to get to that truck? He's like, I don't know. I'm figuring it out as I go. It's like, that's why we love Indiana Jones. Because he feels real. He's not some just some superhero he's not just some like amazing person with every skill learned like he's not that he's a normal dude he's an archaeologist just trying to find the covenant and it's honestly just it's an interesting and awesome adventure and that's why this movie's so good especially it's just i love harrison ford as indiana jones i know everyone's gonna be like he's han solo to me go ahead and say it but to me Indiana Jones is his role. And then we can't forget about Karen Allen, who actually is really good in this movie. She's the ex-lover of uh, Harrison Ford in this movie. And basically, she... At first, you think she's just gonna like, give him an artifact, but no. But she becomes his sidekick. And she's a badass, man. She's also really pretty, too. But she's a badass in this movie. She, ha she holds her ground, even though she gets, like, captured in, like, the first action scene she's held with, which is an awesome chase scene where she gets put into, like, this little, like, basket, and he's trying to find her. Again, directing and editing, A plus material. She's really good at it. The guys who play the bad guys, um, I will admit they are cookie cutter. I mean, they're 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 Nazis. That's all it really is. I think the one guy with the black uh, hat and jacket, I think he's French. I'm not sure though, but he's evil. He ta he talks like this, and he gets burnt on his hand, or whatever. I love the first time we see them, especially in the bar, or whatever, and we get to see that famous bar firefight scene. Like I love that first fight scene because every punch. If you watch this movie, you can't tell me the punches don't sound like a freaking axe hitting a tree. Like it's like, psh, psh, like it is. I love the Indiana Jones punches. I love that sound effect. I love it. I love it. And I love the gun effects. Like it just. It feels gritty and dirty and that's what I like about it. It's so realistic and everything but the villains are cookie cutter except for the one guy who's like wearing a white hat. I can't remember their names because they're cookie cutter but he's like he likes the girl but he doesn't like Indiana Jones but he's he's a bad guy but he does like the girl. He thinks he, w he wants to keep her and basically fall in love with her even though that's not gonna happen but like that's the one human concept we get of that character. But like I said, I mean, everything, all the acting's great. The production design, the desert, the camera work, all of that. But we can't forget about, oh, of course we can't forget about John Williams. Guys, it, it's, it's the famous, like, I mean, it's the most whimsical adventure music to ever be made. And John Williams is a god of music. That's all he is. He literally just makes classic after classic and he just keeps doing his thing and he's like 70 year old and I love him. I love all, every time he makes a movie the music is gonna be perfect from him. It's just a fact and in this movie he made one of the most classic music scores ever made. It's definitely a top five favorite of mine. Definitely not my favorite because we'll get to that sooner or later but either way his music is great and what's also really cool with this movie as a kid my little story we gotta talk about this scene. Yeah, little me watching that, I was freaked out. And you know, everyone else was, because apparently when this movie came out, that scene was very critical. Everyone was all like, what the heck, man? What is that? I mean, it is what it is. I deep down now love it because of how dark and twisted it is. But like, when I was a little kid and I watched that scene, 
I definitely had a few little nightmares of that skull bleeding and blood and white eye. Yeah, it's it's definitely like, what the hell was that? But like, <laughs> it's it's Raiders of the Lost Ark. I love this movie. And of course, the opening scene. I didn't really talk about the opening scene, but I mean, it's the opening scene. We get to learn everything, how bad he is with no dialogue, basically. When the guy pulls the gun out and he grabs the weapon, he would, and he comes out of the shadows. It's like, badass right there. Indian Jones, what a badass. That's that's what he is. But overall, this movie's amazing. Guys, it's it's literally one of my favorite movies. Like I love watching these action sequences, the truck scene, the fight scene in the plane, just watching Harrison Ford deal with these obstacles. Like the scene where he goes down and finds these snakes. He's like, why does it have to be snakes? Because he's afraid of freaking snakes. He's afraid of snakes, but he goes through like spiders in the very beginning and there's like gunfight and all that stuff, but like he's afraid of snakes. It's kind of funny, but it's on like on the nose funny. But again, it's Indiana freaking Jones, man. I will give Raiders of the Lost Ark, of course, an A+. I mean, it's a movie that if you haven't seen, then you have not seen the best action adventure movie summer blockbuster ever. It's that good. It's one of the best movies ever made. I love it. And I can't wait to talk about the sequels, but we're not there yet. Technically, we're doing Release of the Order, and so my next movie is actually a little old movie called E.T., The Extraterrestrial. Um, yeah, I'm, yeah, I wonder what kind of review that's gonna be for me, you know? It's E.T., you know, just not a big deal or anything, but just E.T. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoy this review, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye, guys.